What is absolutely worth the money? A good mattress. You spend a third of your life on that bad boy. And more if you are lucky. Carrot underscore tilde. Don't get cheap on mattresses. You're back. S. Well thank you. I can't believe this isn't higher. The general rule I've heard is never to skimp on anything that comes between you and the ground. Shoes and mattresses being the top two. A good pair of boots. A good pair of boobs. A nice coat or jacket. I paid for a tailored suit. I absolutely kill in it. Every time I wear it, I get a phone number. A good condom. And if you get a good one, you can reuse it over and over and save money. Just turn it inside out, give it a quick rinse and you're golden. A good sharp chef knife. Disclaimer. Learn the proper, safe technique of chopping stuff before buying a super sharp knife. I didn't and got excited by how fast I could chop. Air conditioning in hot, humid weather. Cast iron pans. Just treat them right and your grandkids will be using them. I bought a three pan set for $20 at Walmart. That's less than $7 per pan. Yes, made in China, but it's cast iron, not baby formula. I use the biggest pan all the time. It's great and my kids will be using the Monsieur $7. Therapy. Therapy is a personal trainer for the most important organ in your body. Don't pinch pennies when it comes to things that go between you and the ground. Tires. Shoes. Boots. Mattress carrot 1. Desk chair. House. An NBSP. Carrot. 1. Mattresses generally have an absolutely insane profit margin. Several times over at different points in the distribution chain from manufacture to retail. Don't pinch the pennies. But, try to get a deal. The memory foam in that $800 memory foam mattress is like $45 at manufacture. Don't spend too much on the house. Either. Though, go all out on the others. The trap is getting a house that's falling apart and then having to dump a bunch of time and money into fixing it. This is great if you're just flipping it. But it's not so great if you're wanting to live there. Also, you probably just spent a bunch of money on your down payment. So forking over $25,000 for a new roof isn't fun. But if you aim too high, you just end up becoming house poor and with very little to show for it. This pushes your retirement savings back and puts you are more risk of foreclosure when bad things happen. Like, say, now, sexy walla eg cardboard cutouts at LMAAAOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
Rechargeable batteries for Xbox controllers. Rechargeable batteries for everything. I've got a bunch of rechargeable AAs and haven't had to buy batteries in two years. Spotify Premium is a steal. FR not being willing to spend 10 euros for getting complete access to like 90% of the music of the last 100 years is peak entitlement. Unless you're still buying albums in which case respect. I have a family plan for me and my kids and that's one bill I'm happy to pay. An air fryer, shit is life changing. Good tools. I've heard it's good to cheap out on a tool at first and if when it breaks but the premium one. The logic being that you've used it enough to prove that tool is worth the money. If you don't use it enough to break the cheap one, then you would have just wasted money on the premium brand. This says nothing about the quality, i.e. accuracy, precision, of the tool itself, but gives a decent perspective on what you should be throwing money at I feel. Except for shit like jacks and jack stands. A good jack jack stab will last several lifetimes, a cheap one will last you your lifetime. Good sheets. Underrated comment. No point spending big on a nice mattress unless you cover that bad boy in high thread count cotton. High quality headphones. LASIK. OMG yes, I can't wait to see. Sunglasses. It's fun to see. Cheese. It's like milk that you can chew. Divorce. Or a good divorce lawyer. A good pillow. If your skin is acne prone or sensitive. Investing in good skin care is important. The only thing I splurge on is Obaji Cleansederm Skin Care. Good dental care. If you're building a computer, especially if it's your first time, you should get a warranty on your motherboard. Usually a warranty isn't worth the extra money. But when you insert a CPU into a motherboard, it's very easy to bend the pins and if any of them get bent, you have to replace the whole board. Most companies don't refund bent pins because it's user damage. But the warranty usually covers it. It saved me $150 when I built my first computer and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to build a computer. Asterisk only applicable to Intel motherboards, which use the LGA Land Grid Array set up with pins in the board. AMD CPU still use a good old pin grid on the CPU side food in my stomach and a roof over my head. A good book, especially if you get multiple reads out of it. A good doctor, lawyer, real estate agent, accountant, etc. Basically anyone who not only helps you save money, but someone who can help you make money. I see a lot of people making the mistake of thinking that cheaper is better because they get it in their head that they are saving money working with or having people that work for you that add value and can help you make money is so much more valuable. Abbe albums, Vulevu, and Abbe Gold Greatest Hits. Cosmetic Dental Work. I know it's expensive. My jagged front teeth were technically okay, but I hated my smile. Paid on installments and the veneers have been my favorite purchase ever. Good scotch. A bidet. Hands down. Vacuum a sewer spend $300 to $600 and have a vacuum that will last 20 to 25 years. One exception to this. Don't buy a Dyson. Former vacuum tech. Why not a Dyson? Dyson are expensive vacuums that do not last. They use plastic screws to hold vital components and their filters are expensive and need to be replaced often. This means the bagless vacuum costs more to maintain than a bagged vacuum a sewer. I have fixed thousands of vacuums. And Dyson vacuums are nothing but a marketing trick. They make you think they are worth the price. Then break down quickly. This results in you buying another one. Or trying to get it fixed or repairs under warranty. It's a vicious cycle. When they first came out, they said they spent a million dollars designing the cyclonic just separator. So the filter doesn't clog resulting in no loss of suction the whole time you're vacuuming. If they spent a million dollars, they spent $999,000 too much. It's just like the cyclonic pre-filter dust separators found on bulldozers, which were copied from World War II German tanks in North Africa. 
Honestly, I dislike all bagless vacuums the way a vacuum works is the motor pulls air through the motor itself. So unless you want the motor to die, there has to be a filter to catch all the dirt and dust in a bag vacuum. The bag is a highly efficient and cheap filter. Whereas, bagless vacuums require filter replacements every few months or a year depending on usage. These filters are the same price if not more than the cost of bags over that period. Plus bagless vacuums have to be emptied, which leaves the dust and dirt being exposed back into your home. Not to mention Dyson construction is awful, and is clearly meant to save money with plastic screws and cheap plastic tabs. If anyone is interested, I recommend buying a Ricker vacuum assure made in the USA. Simple design, which makes it easily repairable if needed. I have seen these vacuums last 20 to 30 years before the motor needs to be replaced. In fact I got a Ricker as a wedding gift 7 years ago and it looks brand new. Just change the bag when it's full and you are done. A gaming console for example PS4 it cost $300 but it has been great for years and is still running. Perfectly I also use it a lot so it has great value some games really stick with you too. Consoles have come a long way. Used to be that certain games e.g. Civ only came on PC. And eventually the consoles got a dumbed down version. Civ Rev. Now the consoles have Civ V with all the expansions. Not everything is on console. Of course. Notoriously little RTS. But even VR is possible. Ayahuasca. Ramen. The only food I can eat when I'm hungover. Recovery ramen. Decent ear plugs. Driving license. Contraceptive methods. Anything that goes on your bed. A decent mattress. Pillow top. Pillows. Sheets and down comforter can make your sleep far more impactful. The difference can make a considerable positive impact on your day-to-day -day life. A high-quality tool in your favorite hobby. Love to cook. Get that KitchenAid. Enjoy sewing. Splurge on a Husqvarna. It'll last a long time and make something you already enjoy even more pleasurable. LOL. Husqvarna makes sewing machines. Know you buy a chainsaw. Shred some of your clothes. Then you get to sew them back together. Best way to kill a long weekend. Definitely a dog or any pet, it's worth any amount of money for the companionship. Fuck that. This justifies $2,500 on an in-demand breed puppy when a $159 shelter dog can give you just as much. Love. Cooking at home. Prescription sunglasses. Inexpensive drill. Actually any tools. Buy cheap buy twice with tools. I've heard that the thing to do is to buy cheap the first time and expensive the second time. That way, you end up with expensive versions of tools you actually use and cheap versions of tools you don't use. There is usually a lot better ergonomics involved with quality tools over cheap ones though. i found that it's easier to just buy quality up front and then not have lost the money or the loss of productivity because the cheap tool failed and either f something up in the processor cost you time going to go buy a better one as a technician our terms are usually if you have to borrow a tool more than once then go buy it that's basically what i used to do but i got so fed up with cheap tools breaking in the middle of a job that now i just buy expensive well-known brands anything sig sour dog cookies and cream flavored ice cream but only the finest they have to offer a good quality pair of shoes no vanity a top shelf motorcycle helmet being properly cool and comfortable is very much a safety feature cashmere lasts a lifetime edit i'm sorry everyone had a bad experience with cashmere i have several sweaters that are way over 10 years old and look new no pilling no shrinkage they are very soft and light. First class travel. International of course. Domestic first class is just nothing. The problem is that once you've flown international first class it, it makes the next trip back in. Economy even harder. A good PC, laptop. Reddit gold S. Interesting. Real crap mac and cheese instead of a generic. Annie's is also good. Hiring a mover. 
a reputable one is worth every penny. No stress of dealing with friends who don't show up or friends who damage your things. Just an amazing relaxing experience. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.